Hey guys, today I want to talk about anxiety. It's the death knell to an expat's dream. You know, lately we've been seeing some people come in here, and we've seen this before, and I've talked about this somewhat in the past too, is that people with anxiety, they, they let the anxiety talk for them, and it's not themselves. And they come over here to start a dream, and the anxiety takes over saying, I can't, you know, it's telling them in their minds, you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't have a girlfriend because you might leave in three months and go someplace else, you can't do that. You know, it takes over and it totally evaporates all the dreams that they had before they came here, all the good things that they were thinking of that are possible here. It, it took away all their possibility. It ripped the dream right from underneath them. As soon as they landed and their feet hit the ground, anxiety took over. And some of these guys, when I'm talking to them, and they start telling me something like, Steve, I'll never make it here. You know, I, I, I can't do this. I can't, I can't ride on a jeepney because, you know, I, I can't be in a large group of people like this. And this, is, this happens not just with one person. Many people come over here with anxiety, some different levels. Some people have super, really bad anxiety. We've, see, we've seen that. We've seen middle anxiety and we've seen like small anxiety which most people can get by but the problem is when pe people are telling me hey Steve I'm thinking about going back home and I I'll ask them and I'll say hey is this Bob's is this Bob talking or is this anxiety talking because I want to talk to Bob you know or whatever the person's name may be you know I'll say which is it and um, they'll say they'll think about it and they'll say yeah it's the anxiety talking huh and usually it's the anxiety you know, I, I used to work as a therapeutic mentor with kids, and I, and I tell people, I says, you know, it's almost like you have two people living inside you. One's the anxiety, one's you. It's almost like a demon, <laughs> you know? It's like a demon that takes over you and says, hey, I'm the ruling class here. I'm the one who's, I'm the one who's gonna tell you what you, know, what's, what you can do, what you can't do, and guess what? You're not gonna be able to do this because of this, this, and this. And it's almost like that, that anxiety monster takes over and talks you into what you can, and you cannot do, okay? And you can do it, it's just that a lot of people just say, no, nah, I, I, I just I just can't, I can't do it, I can't do it, Steve. Or, or they're talking themselves in, into saying, I, I can't do it, I'm gonna go back to the US, or I'm gonna go back to Canada, or I'm gonna go back to the U, US or whatever, you know, and I, I'll, I'll do something else back there. And then when they get back there, they realize whatever they, their, their new dream is, when they get back there, that monster takes back over and says, hey, you can't live here, you can't make it here, you can't do it here. What they've done is they've kind of cornered themselves into a dream that they really didn't want to live out someplace else. They really wanted to live it out over here, but they never even gave it a fight and chance or tried. And I tell people when you come over here, and a lot of, pe a lot of people disagree with me on this, and I say this for good reason. They, they, there's a lot of people say, try out different places around here. I say, no, come over here and just stay here. You got the rest of your life to live. Come over here, stay someplace that you think you can live. It doesn't have to be here. It can be someplace else, someplace that you've seen online or something. Say, you know what, I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna go rent a place and I'm gonna put my feet down and get my feet wet in this, in this area and I'll, I'll see how it works out. And that way you're getting your feet wet and you, you've already kind of, you know, put down your foundation here and then you're ready to roll. And then you start saying, you know, this isn't that bad. I can make it here. You got to give yourself a fighting chance. And you know, the toughest part here, and I keep repeating this because it's so damn important is this, is that you have to come over here and you have to, um, you have to be able to start succeeding from the beginning. You have to ha also have, have your feet on the ground. You also have to be re realize that, that you are going to run into tough times. You are going to have uh, really bad times that you're gonna go through and the toughest times here are the beginning because you go through so many issues you you have uh, lease issues maybe license issues maybe um, problems with the BI or something getting to the BI or getting your passport stamped or whatever you have you have to learn how to do all this stuff how to ride around all this stuff is stuff that you have to learn in the beginning and for some people that's way way too much they can't handle that you got to ride through that once you punch through everything you're good you're, you're, you're rolling. You know, there's a lot of things I don't like doing here, but I do them, you know, and I, I get it done. And, and I tell a lot of people, sometimes the, 
Having a good girlfriend here, remember what I said here, good girlfriend. A good girlfriend here is the key to having a quality life over here. One that will help you do things that you need to do to get things done, okay? And that'll make you succeed here, okay? If you don't have a decent girlfriend over here, you're not gonna succeed. I tell a lot of guys with anxiety, the best thing that you might have over here is having it, finding a decent girlfriend, but then they start saying in their mind, well, I don't wanna hurt the girl's feelings if I break off with her and it doesn't work out. I don't wanna do this, you know, I don't wanna, it's like, you know, <clears throat> and it just makes it really difficult to try to talk to these people. And after a while, you know, us expats who are around these people, we kind of give up after a while because, you know, we can, only, we can only put up so much of a fight for that guy. If he's not willing to put up a fight, why are we gonna put up a fight for him? You know what I mean? We, we try to talk to these people to try to help them and people have to be able to help themselves, let's face it. And sometimes when you get these people rolling, you get them on a roll and all of a sudden they start, they're almost ready to push through that anxiety and all of a sudden it takes back over again and they start rolling backwards and it kills their dream totally. And that's the problem. That is the problem right there. You know, the rollback, you know, it's, 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 it's sad sometimes to watch these people because they're like a runaway train wreck. And anxiety, don't take it here with you guys. Don't come over here with bad anxiety. See a therapist before you come. I know everybody has anxiety. I have anxiety, okay? But I, I punch through it. You gotta be stronger than the anxiety. If you're not stronger than the anxiety, don't come here because you're not gonna make it. It's just a fact of life over here because you're gonna go through stretches over here where you might have what you're gonna think is bad luck is normal over here sometimes, but it's a beautiful place over here. Once you get used to living a certain way and we're out of stock or things like that, you got it made over here. And you know what, back in the US, they're starting to have that, that, that problem too with out of stock, everything I'm hearing. They're, they're starting to have medications and stuff that are out of stock. So don't think that you're gonna, uh, you're gonna um, come over here and you're gonna escape it because it's the same thing over here. You know, you guys in the U.S. are starting to have food shortages and, and things like that. Shelves that are empty. Things that are happening over there that aren't good. You know, and over here, we're, we have those same issues over here. Sometimes it's worse over here. Sometimes it's not. Depends where you are. I can go to Alabang. I can get almost everything I want. We have potato, onion, and garlic shortages over here in some areas. In my area, we don't have that because we're close to Manila. But out in the out, outer parts, can't get garlic can't get onions, can't get potatoes in some areas because of those shortages, you know? So don't let your anxiety be the death knell to your dream. Don't, you know? I'm over here at the park today and they're working on the, um, the barn up above. It used to, it's like a, a work barn, I guess you could call it or something. But they're working on that today. And also they're working on the cages that I usually sit outside of. They have all kinds of machinery here and a dog here too, so I don't want to get too close. So my, my usual seats where I sit, I can't sit. And also, you can see the walkway is kind of green from all the rain, and it's a little bit slippery down here. But anyway, guys, God bless, take care, and remember, don't let anxiety take over. Make sure it's you talking, not the anxiety. God bless, guys, take care.